All right, so we constantly get asked how to fix a ferro, and um, I've actually got the products out in front of me now that I use and the procedure in which I do it. So I had a little bit of a bubble here, so I've chipped away at that. I've taken that back. Um, a bit of wire hanging out there. It's only just the outer layer. So I'm going to seal this up and then I'm going to put some mega epoxy over, prime it, any fell it, job done. Pretty simple little fix. Got one over here too. You can see it's only just in the top layer. You can still see all the chicken wire and behind that's all the Rio. It's only just, just the top bits let go and this is what you want to get to. So I'll seal that up now with some um, epoxy and then primer and then I'll epoxy fill it and then prime and paint it, job done. That was it, two little, two little um, bits. I could have left them but I chose to chip them out. Prevention's better than cure with these old girls. And, uh, four years ago I did a patch and it's, yeah, it's good as gold. Same procedure. Alright, so we constantly get asked how to fix a ferro and um, I've actually got the products out in front of me now that I use and the procedure in which I do it. So guys, what we start with is obviously what we just showed you a second ago, how I've chipped out um, where the blister was, um, brought that all back to nice clean concrete, cleaned it up, gave it a good wash down, gave it a little clean up with uh, alcohol, and then the next step will be to prime it and seal it or to seal it with this ultralock. So it's a two-part um, epoxy sealer. What's the measurements there, honey? Oh, that's the part I can't tell you. Oh, this is a Lee secret, measurement. Secret recipe, that one. Secret recipe. Looks like equal parts to me. Is that wrong? I'd say you're right. I'm right. Equal parts white, clear stuff and brown stuff. 50-50 mix. 50-50 mix. How long do you mix it for, Captain? Well, mix till your heart's content, you know. But you probably mix it for a couple of minutes. And um, she's good to roll. And uh, I'll just wipe my little chisel mixer. Bella will show you how she applies it. Oh, Bella's going to apply it. Apprentice is getting some instructions In yep. from In the master. Yep. Oh. It's a lovely colour. You want to put on a generous amount to cover the exposed part of the hull. Good job, baby girl. How's it look? Looks like gravy. Like All gravy. Right, that's it. There we go. That's it. Here it is, everyone. Job done. So that'll soak in there and seal that up. How long do you leave that for? Um, oh, you can let it go off. Sometimes I get a bit impatient. I probably let it go off for a couple of hours. Two hours? Depends on the heat. Where we are now, it'll probably be set in an hour. Back home, probably three hours. All right, so for There's clear a... instructions for the people at home, probably read the tin. Lee it? recommends one to two hours, ladies and gentlemen. Hole number two. Bella's really working it in this time. So as you can see, it's just the top layer that's been affected. This is actually probably about uh, 50 mil thick, something like that. And you can see there's chicken wire here and behind that will be the actual mesh of the boat. So as long as you can see the chicken wire, it hasn't even gone through the chicken wire yet, the rust. So um, catch it at this stage, easy fix. Leave it for a few more years and it may get into the hull. Like when we first bought Catalpa, there was a couple of spots that had been neglected. It oh. goes a long way. Don't mix up as much as Lee did. Well done, beautiful. Looks like a bird. Scan across the eye. Right, right, there's there. even a dark circle. Look, 
an e it looks like an emu's head. So like Lee said, the hull looks mighty fine. The patches that he did have all held in there and uh, we're very impressed by the old girl. Fell up to a good enough job. I had a bit of a crack there, I thought I'd just poke it into it. I poked it in. So more instructions is really lather it on, soak it all up. Sealing, right? It's a just sealer. Double checking that she's good. Teamwork is what makes the dream work. Woohoo! Team Katalpa. So once you've done that, you let that um, set, so on. The next part's to fill it. These are just little small drums that I've keep on the boat just as a bit of a backup if we need to do a patch. That's your mega epoxy, another two part epoxy mix, which is super strong and um, that's what we'll fill the hole with. Equal parts of that, hey? Equal parts, 50-50. 50-50. Mix together really well until you get a nice consistency. Now you got me in a dress, I was new as a stand. Had a little dream that I came for a visit. Is it what you imagined, is it? Up and down, but it don't last too long. You can write a note or let me tag along. We're headed to the same place anyway. If a safe will stay, if they fall. Okay, so in the, in the tropics or in the sun, Good idea is to, whether it's an epoxy filler or this mega epoxy, is to have this laid out nice and thin on your board because if you don't, the epoxies build a lot of heat and your mixture will go off really quick. If you're working with epoxy resins, epoxy filler, epoxy mega epoxy, whatever, leave it all nice and thin so it doesn't build heat. Put it all in a clump like so and that there will go off like that, twice as quick as if you just leave it nicely flattened out. Mind blown. I would have thought the opposite. Good tip, babe. Oh, he's off. Then you basically do what Dad is doing and place it on. Those years of plastering coming in handy once again. stuff once it goes off is as rock solid too so try and be as neat as you can because sanding it back is hard work over to the next one and repeat Clean up is what? Ten minutes, honey? Um, no, just a little bit of um, alcohol. Oh, alcohol. You get thirsty, you can have a little swig too. Shark alcohol. And that cleans up the sealer and that? Cleans up most epoxy, I think. I'm not an epoxy expert, but it works for the epoxy fillers. So if you're uh, repairing, and you're looking for your materials, don't forget to get some alcohol so you can clean up your tools. So if you look back in the movies when we first got Catalpa, there was some quite big holes that we filled. So four years later, there's been no leaks, no cracks, no nothing. They've all been fine. They were a little bit bigger, those ones. We had to tie a little bit of steel. Um, and yeah, very easy fix. So there you are, guys. All those people out there that ask how to fix one. That's how you do it. 
and once it's finished there's another two pack um, Carbo Guard, this is a uh, Poxy Primer. Job done. Alright, so for the rest of the day, Lee's going to be grinding the deck. And the kids and I, see that blue rail? We're going to hand sand it. Takes forever. I've already gone around, we've already put paint strip on it. I've gone around and scraped it all off as best I could. And now, and I've sanded all the bottom of it, but oh, so much work. Oh, we're getting there. Once this sanding's done, it's so much better. It's not my favourite thing to do. It really isn't. So then, I think it's a week today since we've been out. That's been all preparation. We've sanded for a week straight. I say the art of decoration is preparation. We don't like the preparation. We just like the decoration. <laughs> we just want to paint. These poor tools are... Wait. Another one just bites the dust. We killed two sanders so far and uh, we got another one yesterday. So we went to town yesterday, which is a bit of a deal because you've got to get on a ferry and go across, hire a car, drive half an hour and get to town. So we did that yesterday. And then the tool that we use probably most of all just died. So, yay! Yay! It bit me too. <laughs> bit me earlier. It oh. cut him. It didn't actually bite. Straight him. down to the bone. I'm not going to have a shower now and hopefully not faint when I have no, a look don't at take it. it. I had to put the bandage on. I would have filmed it all, but he gets a bit funny when he's when he cuts himself. Find and, he, other and he looked at it, and I could see he was gonna. So he just had to bandage it up pretty quickly. It's a bit stiff. Uh, so it's the end of another day in paradise. Half defeated. All my tools are breaking. I thought I'd have a bit of paint on by now. At least the bottom of the boat primed. Found two little blisters, no dramas, but just all time delay. One week, we're just still sanding. Join us next time as we finally get some paint on the old girl's bottom.